Hey everyone, moving on with our graduation Cougar Chats. Today, we've got Hansika Tapker, graduating senior on the women's golf squad. And to interview her is her coach, Angela Rahill. So Coach Rahill, take it away. Tell me your favorite CSU memory. Well, I would have to say it's definitely traveling with the team, um, but I would say in particular it was freshman year was our spring break trip where we played like two tournaments in Jacksonville, um, Florida. It was just such a good time. Like we were with the men's team as well. So it was a big group of us. And I remember our team back then, like we were all so close and we we're still close today with Felicia, um, who's who graduated two years later. But that trip was just so memorable and just the memories we made, I still look back on those pictures and smile. My mom surprised me at that tournament and I hadn't seen her in months. So it was really nice. So definitely one of those. Okay. Very good. Uh, what advice would your college graduate self give to your freshman self? I would definitely tell myself to enjoy as much as you can. Sometimes I'd get stuck in that, like, I'm so stressed out with school, golf, everything, but just to enjoy the ride because you really don't know when things are going to be taken away from you, especially like this past year really showed it to us. You know, we got our spring season was canceled last year, fall season as well. So just, I wish I like knew that I wasn't going to get that last year almost. So just to enjoy every moment and take it with a grain of salt. Very good. Very good. All right. What kind of impact did golf have on you? So for me, um, golf is what made me venture out of Canada, Toronto, just come to Chicago. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have left my little bubble here um, with family if it wasn't for golf. It also gave me a lot of opportunity to meet so many different people. Because of golf, I was able to come to Chicago State. And because of Chicago State, I have friends like around the world now, which is crazy. So definitely just opportunities. Very good. All right. Um, which I know this, but what is your degree and why did you pursue it? So my degree is um, business with a concentration in marketing. Um, I pursued it just because I am definitely more on the creative side and I love to talk as you can tell. Um, so I definitely think that I'm good at selling things, but not only that, I want to use my marketing skills to diversify sports. So I want to go in diversity and inclusion um, and work within sports to help you know, diversify athletics just in general, and also sports and marketing, you can kind of do it together. And those are the two things I love. So, yeah. Good. Now, uh, with you graduating in spring, you got any plans of job opportunities? Anything? So, as of right now, um, I'm just going to golf this summer. I'm going to still take this summer off. I just want to golf, enjoy one last summer. Um, as of right now, in terms of jobs, I'm just working with the family. Um, I do eventually want to work for MLSE, which is the Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment. So it's the major um, sporting, I guess, uh, organization in Toronto. Um, they run the Raptors, the Maple Leafs, and uh, Toronto FC. So definitely hoping to work with them. But if not, it's always good to help with the family business. Good, good. And you also had the opportunity with PGA, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's always there. I love working with the PGA of America. Yeah. Good. All right. Um, what was your favorite class and why at, at CSU? Hmm. Coach, you're putting me on the spot here. Um, <laughs> definitely. I would have to say a lot of my business courses. I particularly loved mar uh, research or marketing research. Um, it was a class where we got to like explore different avenues of marketing and um, we chose, mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly what our main focus was, but we did focus a lot on Bitcoin. So you got to learn a lot about different parts of business as well. Mm -hmm. So learning about stocks and the kind of triggered my like interest in like investing and, you know, being a little bit smarter with money. <laughs> For sure. All right. What is the biggest difference between you today and with you four years ago? Um, I think I've just matured overall. Um, if you would have asked me four years ago, I was so nervous coming to Chicago. To be completely honest, I was I didn't think I was going to like it. I thought I was going to move back home after a month. And now living at home, I'm like, 
I can't wait to come back. I can't wait to leave. I can't wait to move out. Just being independent and just learning like my own way of life and not just being stuck in like the way that my friends or my family thought I was supposed to live. Like it, I got to really learn who I am. And like, like, I didn't know that I really loved to work out, for example, or that I loved condo living. I loved living in a building, like as much as I love living in the suburb here, but I really love living in the city. So yeah. Yeah. Good. And last question. Okay. What do you think you will miss most about CSU and being in college? I know this sounds kind of cheesy, but honestly, I'm going to miss the people. I'm just going to miss the athletic department, you know, um, as some people you know at CSU, I'm part of SAC and like that was a big part of like college for me along with the golf team. I'm going to miss my teammates, to be completely honest. We went from seeing each other like every day to not getting to see each other as much mm -hmm. because we might have different career paths or live in different parts of the world, but definitely going to miss the people. I think I built like some really long lasting friendships and I'm really excited about that, but I'm also kind of sad. It's like a bittersweet thing graduating. And you coach, oh, of good. course, actually you. <laughs> I'm going to miss seeing you like every day. <laughs> well, Hans, seek up from back here. I'm new to Chicago State, but it's clear your role at SAC, your role with women's golf, you've made an indelible impact on the department and no doubt that'll continue. Yeah, thank you. I know, I can't wait to hopefully be back for different reasons. Absolutely. And, and by the way, when you get that gig with Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, Make sure we know. <laughs> I will for sure. <laughs>